Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, today's vlog is going to be something completely different. It is me going to survive a night at wild camping. This is definitely something I'm feeling a little, ang not a little, a quite anxious about because I am one to hibernate during the winter time and I love my layers, I get cold easily, I get grouchy when it's cold. So this is definitely a experience that I am quite dreading, but let's see how we I've got all of the gear packed up. So we are, we've got our tents and um, we've got our sleeping bags ready, thanks to my sister. We've got our boots, our, my thermals, and uh, when I mean layers, I'm wearing a lot of layers. Um, I've got my hot flasks, my hot water bags, everything ready and geared up for us to go. Um, so it's going to be me, my husband and three others. So yeah, let's see how this goes and hopefully you enjoy this adventure. This is definitely something new and it's something exciting. guys we have actually landed at the camping site and we've got there's like a little farm there with sheep and then it's quite warm so I think we just got here on time before the sun sets we're gonna put our tent up and get the campfire going and then I shall get back to you but look how beautiful and peaceful it looks so lovely quickly came to see the little sheep. They are so cute. Hello. Oh, so pretty. Oh. So the tents are all up, well nearly up, and the sun is going quite down now. Still there, I think we're quite lucky with the light, especially because it's actually around, if I'm correct, around 7.30, so I think we're quite lucky. <laughs> um, have you guys been um, camping? If so, is there any other locations that you could recommend? Um, I know I've got cold, I've got told quite a few times to go Wales to do camping, but um, yeah, so maybe that might be our next location. But um, if you have any tips or locations, it would be so lovely if you guys could drop it down below and we might go and check it out too. But here you go. This is going to be my experience. So. Tent one is done. Tent two is giving us struggles. We're trying to put this up, but you know. Put out on one side. Now Amina is digging a hole for our barbecue. <laughs> so, guys, I know most of you guys think I'm not the type who can um, camp and dig. I'm trying to prove my point here, so. We're getting this ready to start the barbecue. Quite but difficult. we don't know if we're doing the right thing. We don't know, <laughs> we're just waiting for the boys to come back and have a go at us, obviously. But, yep. Now and I think this is, this is our how little food be. station. Over here. And then, what's this station? Like our fire, woods, and our ice, ice cubes. Yeah. And now that she's digging. <laughs> 
It looks easy, but it's quite yeah. difficult. morning everybody happy Saturday it is not as bad as I thought I know it's raining and it's gray but I'm not going to lie for someone like me who gets cold every two seconds I think I survive pretty well um, it is raining and my feet ugh, that was the downside my feet got wet but it's fine I was able to survive and um, I've I'm warmed up my fleece and everything covered my head and I'm outside, it's raining now. Um, I think we're about to pack up and go and get something to eat and drink. Definitely a warm cup of coffee. Um, but the views and it's just so peaceful and stunning. So with my little sheep friends. <laughs> and yeah, I think, I think it was definitely a good experience, a good night because we did survive, which was a shock. Um, so yeah, anyways, I will see you guys at breakfast. Um, hey guys, so I am actually back home and um, I am quite shattered actually to be honest. It was definitely a day to remember, my first camping experience and I actually went feeling very anxious and yeah, I didn't know what I was going to get in myself into. But I have to say it was definitely a great experience and you know, I think it's just something that we, everyone needs to try out definitely once in their lifetime. I would definitely recommend you guys to make sure to take thermal leggings, hoodies, thermal wear, double socks, your raincoat, really good boots and <clears throat> anything that's going to keep you warm. It's always good to have extra layers, especially blankets and the one thing I've learned is to take a cushion or a pillow for your head. I had my sleeping bag but I didn't have anything to balance my head on. Other than that, the whole experience overall was great. Um, so after I showed you guys the morning views, we got ourselves some McDonald's breakfast and then we headed straight back home. I'm probably gonna put on a nice movie and wear some warm clothes and just chill out today evening and get back to my normal reading tomorrow. But I hope you guys all enjoyed my short and sweet vlog of my camping. There wasn't much to show, but I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience. And yeah, um, if you guys do have any other locations or any other places that I could discover, I would really, really appreciate it. Please do drop it down below in the comment section. Have a great day. I shall see you guys soon. Bye.